Okay, so we're back here again with this little um, isolation transformer that I'm building. And um, I've actually switched it around. I've put the larger transformer on the output and the smaller transformer on the input. And um, I've had it running for probably a good 45 minutes to an hour. The transformers are fairly warm, but not warm to the point where I can't touch them. And both feel like they're about the same temperature and um, we're getting a better voltage rating this way. Um, I had originally thought using the larger transformer would be would give a stronger output for the smaller transformer, but see it's better the other way around. As I said, I'm just messing around. I haven't actually I've done a little bit of research on isolation transformers. But uh, most of the ones that I've seen that people have built are really tiny or really a hack job. Um, but yeah, let's give this a shot. Um, I've put one bolt through the smaller transformer. You can kind of see it sticking out here. Um, and that quieted it down a little bit. But... Let's power it up and see what it'll do. And again, the buzzing is just due to the um, to the one lamination. If I if I touch it, it stops. But if I give it an, a jump start, it'll start buzzing again. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll just leave it. Um, as you can see on the meter, we're reading 126 volts approximately. Um, not sure how accurate this is at the moment because the battery in my meter is in need of replacement. So we might be a little bit off. Um, but we're reading a little bit above line voltage now. Um, let's screw in the 40 watt bulb. We're down to 122 volts. Screw in the 60 watt bulb. And we're down to about 117 volts. Between 117 and 118 fluctuates a bit. Um, again, that could be the meter. Um, but as I said, I had this running for nearly an hour under load and the transformers did get fairly warm, but not warm enough to the point where I can't touch them so I don't think there's any risk of frying the windings and as I said most of the stuff that I'll be working on will be probably under 100 watts um, and um, yeah it'll probably be mostly most radios run usually 60 to like 40 to 60 watts on average so this should definitely be good for what I'm going to be using it for. And um, as again, the voltage is a little bit high, but I'll be running this in in um, in tandem with the Variac. So I'll be able to turn it down and I'll be start like soft starting the radios anyway. So it's not like it's going to be an issue. I'll be able to set the output voltage at the proper uh, line voltage. So there we have it. Um, this will be the final. This is not the final setup of the um, transformers, but this is going to be the final configuration of how it's going to be set up once I complete it. Um, yeah, so there we have it, and thanks for watching.